Hey everyone, I'm out here giving it a go on the moon bike. This is a second ride for me and the conditions are pretty nice. We've got, I don't know, four inches or so of fresh snow on top of a fairly stable base. I can walk out here. Yeah. That's about right. We've got a nice base and uh, four or five inches on top. I think this is pretty ideal conditions for the moon bike. So I am going to do some demo videos, show you how it performs in these conditions. I did a couple of things. I softened up the suspension on the front fork to give a better feel. And I tilted the handlebars forward a bit. It might be a little too far, but anyway, it's better because you end up riding sort of on the front part of the seat. And so well, I have pretty long arms. So yeah, I tilted the handlebars forward and it's a much better feel, a lot more stable. So I'm gonna set it up and uh, zip around through the trees a bit, show you how it does. All right, I'm gonna buzz around through the off the trail here a bit uh, in the softer stuff and see how we do. I'm in sport mode right now, which has the most power and the most top speed. hills what's nice is we got reverse so if you get stuck or into a bad situation back yourself out okay got a little hill to play on here and uh, I'm gonna go up and down a couple times and then head back because my fingers are getting cold. It's about 20 degrees. It's not too bad out, but uh, the wind on my hands makes my fingers a little cold. Should have worn my heated gloves that I left in the truck. Oh well. Hill climbing, no problem there.
are back from our ride on the moon bike. All right, here we are back at the parking lot from a nice ride on the moon bike. I got to know it a little better. I really like how it handles on this powder on top of a fairly firm base. I think that's the target conditions for this vehicle. And uh, I had a lot of fun out there cutting back and forth and just playing around, weaving in the trees. Um, what I liked about it with the softer forks was I had better cushion on the bumpy stuff on the snow machine uh, trails that tend to be uh, kind of up and down and bouncy and sometimes if the, when the suspension came to us it was really stiff. So that helped a bunch. Um, messing around with the different speed levels. I, I did have it in normal for a while and then I put it on uh, sport mode which is uh, what I prefer. Normal mode if you're just uh, traveling on a trail to get somewhere would be uh, just fine but when you're playing around in the powder you may as well uh, utilize the full power that you have available if you need to have it in sport mode for that. And uh, yeah so I'm just gonna hopefully load it right up here it's pretty easy a lot lighter than a snow machine so I just made a wooden ramp it actually has some metal angle iron supports underneath it so you can basically just drive it right up and then forward so yeah take it back to the shop and clean it up if you're interested in a demo ride let me know we can ship these anywhere in alaska as well